Hey guys, in this video, we're going to discuss Lee Code 317, the shortest distance from all the other buildings. So basically for this problem, we're going to be given a grid with values only has like 0, 1, or 2. And the 0 means it's an empty land, and the 1 means it's a building which, which we cannot pass through. And the 2 means it's an obstacle that we cannot pass through. So we need to find uh, we need to build a new house on one of the empty land that can reach all the other buildings in the shortest total distances. And we can move like up, down, and the left, right. And we're going to need to return the shortest distance for the such a house if we can build that one. And uh, if it's not, it's not possible to build a new house that can reach all the other houses, then we need to return negative one. So let's take a look at example here at line two to four. So let's say if, if this is the input grid we are given, where we have three buildings at this position, this position, and this position, and an obstacle here. So what we can do is like, we can do a BFS from every building, like from this building, and then this building, and this building, and then do a BFS to find the distances of all the other lands to this building. For example, like for this, for this first building, right? These two positions has a distance of one, and I record one here. And these two positions have distance of two to this building. Then I recorded uh, two here. And the same for the other positions. So, we, so the first uh, element in the array for every, uh, for every array here is the distance to the first building. And the same for the second building. Like these, uh, these, uh, these two positions, ha uh, these two positions has distance of one to the, to the second building. So I record one here which is at uh, the third item. And uh, then these two has a distance of two to this second building. So I have recorded value of two. And for this building, like I recorded the value distance to uh, all, the, all, all the open lands to distance to this building as well. So like this one has a, this three has distance of one. That's why I have a value of one here. And uh, this one has two distance of two. So that's why I record value two here. So after doing BFS on all the, all the buildings, then we can have for every open position, we can see that uh, we can see what's the um, distance for this open position to all the other buildings. Like for example, this open position has a distance of one to this first building, distance of three to this building, and distance of five to this building. Then we can just loop through all the open positions and find the open position with a uh, minimum sum which is this one. This one has a minimum sum of seven, which is the smallest. That's why we return seven, that which is the minimum distance we can find to get to all the other buildings. And we're going to build a new building here. And then there's an also edge case, which we can see like line uh, six to seven. So let's say if we, this is the input, right? So we can find this building is bounded by obstacles. So, it, so like this building can never reach this building. Like the first building can never reach a second building, so we it's, it's so it's impossible for us to build a building that can reach all the buildings. So in this case, we return negative one. All right. So as discussed, so this is the three steps we need to solve this problem. So first, we're gonna do a BFS from each building to all the other op empty lands, so that we can find the distance from the empty land to this to the to all the other buildings, and then we're gonna check if there's any buildings not reachable from all the other buildings. Like if this building cannot reach the sec the other building, then we can we are not we can know for sure like we're gonna reach a negative one because we cannot build a position we cannot find a local position that can reach all the other all the buildings. And lastly, if if we if we notice like all the buildings are reachable from all the other buildings, then we just return the land with a minimum sum of distances. All right. So now let's start um, uh, coding it out. So let's. Uh, so let me just first we need to get the number of rows and number of columns, the size of the grid. And then goes the length of the. And also we need to find the total number of buildings. buildings. Let's just do for i in range of rows and then for j in range columns if grid 
and j is one is one. The buildings will be increment that we're gonna increment the total building. All right. So now we find the total number of buildings, and then we can do for all the other ones. Like gonna do the loop again. So number of buildings we can reach for number of buildings. Reach for buildings. Yes. If it's a building and the reach for building from this building, reach for buildings equals to, so we gotta have a DFS. Uh, BFS, sorry, BFS on the um, division. So this BFS is going to do two things. It's the number of reachable buildings. So memorize, memorize the distance of the open positions. Let me just find it here first. We can implement that later on. If and the reachable building will be um, BFS on the uh, I, J, R, and C. So if if isn't equal to the total buildings, which means like there will be some buildings not reachable from this building, then we return negative one. Return negative one, right? Otherwise, it means all the buildings are reachable. So now we um, save all the buildings. Uh, okay, so we're gonna save in here. We're gonna save the buildings in the in some object. So let's just uh, do a default dig. Import. So let's say distances. Sorry. Distances are equal to the list. So we can update the memorize in, in this object in the distances. You can memorize the distances for open positions in okay it's okay just uh, i don't need that. we're gonna memorize so one, one, once we do one, when we do the pfs we're gonna memorize distances in this um, object so for every position so once we memorize it we can just like um find the minimum distances right so uh, response equals to uh, float infinite and then we're gonna loop through uh, for key the vowel in uh, distances items. I find the minimum. Oh, okay. I actually I need to have it to the infinite so that it's minimum. So equals to uh, actually I also need to only need to because some some open position may not which may not be reachable from the building so. I need to only need to find the positions that can be reachable from all the other open buildings. So if length of value equal to the number of distances, number of buildings, total buildings, only these open positions are taken into consideration because we need to have the new building to be reachable from all the other buildings that can reach all the other buildings. So then response will be minimum of response and the sum of uh, value, key would be a uh, position. Value would be uh, it's, it's, it's. Okay. 
right? And uh, we can just return this stuff here. Oh, there's one edge case actually. So if response equal equal to so like there's no open like all the other open positions cannot reach all the buildings, then the response will still be infinite. Then we return negative one. All right. Otherwise, we just return the response. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I think it makes sense. So let's just implement the PFS. So for the PFS, it should be simple. Like it's a standard PFS algorithm. So we can just like have a um, DQ and then keep um, um, iterating on the DQ. So the Q would equals to on collections import and Q import equals to DQ. All right, and then we're gonna open the initial item in the queue would be the uh, current position and um, okay. wrap on that all right mm. so and then, then we need to keep a visited array visited. Visited dictionary and they visited or visited dot and I and J. Sorry. Visited. And uh, then the current number of buildings. Now initialize it to one because this position will be a building for sure. We only BFS when this is a building. So so let me see. So we have the queue. And uh, okay, so now while Q, we do a while on the Q. While Q exists, and then the position. So, uh, so let me see. Uh, current row and current. The uh, Q dot pop left. Just go left from that. Yeah, so this is a current position, and then we're gonna find all the neighbors for the current position. So for neighbors for child in For the child, child grow, child is. if child row is larger than or equal to zero. And the child row is less than uh, the number of rows, and child column is larger than or equal to zero, and child column is less than C. So, and child row and child column are team visited. Visited. Then we can q dot append child row and child column. Visited add child row and child column.
and the if if it's a building if grid child row that if it's a building It's a building equal equal to one. Then we just increment the number of buildings. Actually, we can we only do this when it's an open position. Uh, wait, actually, yeah, we only append when it's an open position because. Otherwise, it's because we only append it to the open position. Otherwise, because uh, all the buildings and open codes are not reachable. Now, if so, if it's zero, then we append, and also we need to memorize the distances. Okay, so this one, so in the queue, we need to have a distance as well. Distance is zero. Initial distance, so okay, now this is the DMS, DMC distance. Distance. So when we append, it should also have a distance plus one. So it should work. In the end, we return just return the number of buildings. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so number of integer has no length. Let's see. Equal equal to total buildings. Okay, I see. Uh, oh, sorry. You should append distance into the pen. We need to find all the distances from all the other buildings. Now this should be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. Let's run it and see how it goes. Yeah, looks good. So basically, it's a bit long, but this is the um, how we kind of solve the problem. So we basically, it's just BFS. So we just do BFS from the every building to all the other open positions, and then we call the distance from there, and then find the one with the minimum distance. Only keep in mind, like, the building has to reach all the other buildings, which means, like, every building has to be able to reach each other. So if one building cannot reach all the other buildings, then we return negative one. That's all the, uh, that's the edge case here. So, okay, so the time and the space, the time is like, um, should be in the number of buildings and then the size. So if the, num the number of buildings is n and then like uh, the size of grid is n square, so it should be um, n cubic because we kind of do BFS from all the other buildings to, from buildings to all the other uh, open buildings as well. So it's n cubic and then space complexity would be n square because we just uh, like a store, have a distance map here. All right, so this is the uh, end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the uh, next one.